Welcome back, do-it-yourselfers. I'm Terry Peterman, your internet electrician. Welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics. My home is at electrical-online.com and coming to you right here on YouTube. Now in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some lighting issues and we're gonna answer that age-old question, how many electricians does it take to screw in a light bulb? So in today's video, I promise it will be one of the shorter ones of my video shorts. We're just going to talk about lighting here. Now, I recently did uh, phase, I don't know, seven of our home renovations here. It's the second last one, I believe, next to finishing the yard work off outside. But this garage that I'm sitting in now was uh, quite a horrible mess. It was very dirty. It was very dated. It, the walls had a mixture of drywall with paint, without paint, and hundreds of holes in the walls. So what I ended up doing is tearing everything down, patched the holes, I textured the walls with a texture in a can, which worked out really well. Then I painted the walls white and we stripped down the floor, got it all clean, put a epoxy paint on the floor, painted the inside of the garage door, basically just brightened it up in here and it's gonna be a nice place to work. I'm gonna use it as my garage, workshop, and studio all in one. So for any indoor studio shots I have to do, they'll be done in here from now on. So I was gonna to talk to you about lighting. So that brought me to the lighting in the garage. All I, I had here was two keyless lamp holders. So basically what we call plastic chandeliers spaced uh, evenly in the garage. It's a double car garage. There was one on either side of it and about halfway down the center of the garage were these two lights. So off we went to look for lighting because after we uh, brightened it all up here, realized the lighting was horrible and all I had was a couple of uh, temporary bulbs in there for now. I had one big giant uh, compact fluorescent in there and another LED. So I was uh, thinking I'd go to Home Depot or another home improvement store and see what I could find for maybe four foot gangable LED fluorescent type lights, so LED though, fluorescent tubes in them, or eight foot ones that I could run down the length of the garage, because of course I always have to use extra lighting for, for filming and videos, but I wanted something nice and bright. So off we went, looked at all the lighting choices and they were expensive. Uh, any decent eight foot fixture that was LED was well over a hundred dollars. And then here's a display that popped up as seen on TV. There was a whole stack of these lamps here from Bell & Howell called the Tri-Burst Multi-Directional LED Lights. I'll just hold that up for you to see. Like you say, as seen on TV, and I had seen them before, and I thought, you know, there's my answer because that's a whole lot easier than putting up new fixtures, and if they're as good as they say they are on TV, why not give them a try? They were about $40 each, and so as you can see there, there are three adjustable lights that all can be set to different angles and they screw in and with two of them in here that gives me six of these panels that you can basically adjust and, and angle to wherever you need the light. So I thought I'd give them a try, brought them home and wow, they work great. So they did do everything they said they would do on TV. So there's a free commercial for Bell & Howell. You're welcome Bell & Howell. But that saved me a lot of work and it gave me an excellent quality of light in here. So to answer that question, how many electricians does it take to screw in a light bulb? The answer is zero. So lots of times we look for a solution to a problem that's more complex than it needs to be and you do not need an electrician to unscrew one light bulb and screw in something like these. So there you go. To answer that question, only no electricians are required to screw in a new light bulb. Now, when we're talking about lighting, we had uh, the people here at Through Night, guiding you through the night. It's a company that makes flashlights. And I tell you what, they sent me this flashlight to test out and it's amazing. So I'm gonna turn off the lights in here and show you just how bright it'll make it without any lighting at all in here, including my new tri-burst multi-directional LEDs. This little light is something else from through light, like I mentioned. So you turn it on with the click of the switch and then you can cycle through high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, 
and you just let go whenever you want the correct brightness setting that you prefer. And you also have a switch at the back of it that just turns it on to full bright mode. And tell you what, this is really bright. Like I say, I'm gonna shut the lights off and show you, but we'll just blind the camera here for a minute. Don't shine it in your eyes, it'll burn your retinas out. Excellent light. Let me just shut off the lights in here, make it totally dark and I'll turn this on and you'll see how bright it can make the, the garage itself. All right, here we are with the lights off completely in the garage. Now hit that switch again, cycle through the low, medium and high. Low, medium and high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Leave it on high. And like I say, the override switch at the back just turns it on full brightness. And wow, I'm not looking right at that light, but you can shine this up on the ceiling of the garage and basically it looks like the lights are back on in here. Very bright, excellent flashlight. So back with the lights on in the garage now. Thank you very much to Through Night, guiding you through the night. Thanks for sending me this light. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get your own through night. It comes with a user manual. It comes with a carrying case, a lanyard. It's got a little clip here to clip it onto your shirt pocket. Excellent work light. So thanks again for watching. I am Terry Peterman, your internet electrician. And until next time, we'll see you again. But don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Those Two steps are very important. It uh, really helps us with the YouTube algorithms. If you comment, that'd be great. I get to all my comments and also click that notification bell. And that way you'll know when I release a new video. Thanks again for watching.